all right y'all welcome to spirit talk so today <clears throat> this spirit talk is going to be about Okay, today the spirit talk is going to be about anything you want, you can have. I know I'm looking kind of crazy right now. Um, and that philosophy came from um, the, the law of attraction. Um, anything that you want, you can have. Well, it'll get to the point where it's not even wanting anymore. It's you just desiring things that fit your path and your purpose. And when you desire them, you're, you... You have a gauge that lets you know how far on or off your path you are. And so that's why the last time when I said I wanted to show the um, the chart with the emotions, um, hopefully I've been posted that video by now, you were able to see very clearly that every different emotion has its own frequency. And the more that you linger in that emotion, the more you'll start to attract things on that same frequency. So... You know, fearful things will come to you, negative things will come to you, angry things will come to you. But if you start <clears throat> allowing yourself to relieve some of that tension um, and just allow things to flow naturally as they do, then you'll be able to move upward on your pedestal um, of emotions. I'm not going to say pedestal, on your um, different levels. You'll be able to move up at the different levels of emotions and eventually you'll find yourself at content. And content is like zero. Zero, zero. Negative. Now, no negative, no positive. So that's a, re that's a really good place to start because, you know, at that moment you have the choice to choose if you want to continue to linger in the negative or revisit the negative emotions or are you going to surpass that and allow yourself to start attracting and building other things now that you've gotten to content and you know you can move forward you guys you should know that you are 100 percent responsible for your own happiness you are 100 percent responsible for your own happiness and that's not to disregard anybody's struggle what they've been through or what they might have seen in their lives but that's just to say that <clears throat> systematically there are some things set up for some people not to be able to move forward at all but if you're not in that situation where you have to deal with that lifestyle systematically then you don't really have an excuse you know I got that message the other day when I was watching one of Peach's lives and it sounded so harsh when she said it I was a trifling mom to my kids because I was so sad about a man and I wanted to be with a man, but I was so sad about a man and I wanted to be with a man, this, that, and the third, but I didn't focus on my relationship with my kids. I didn't focus on, you know, all of my other things around me and so all of my stuff started falling apart because of what? Because I dwelled in sadness and because of that, Everything that dwells in sadness came to her, like despair, failure, um, bankruptcy, you know, all of those things came to her. Homelessness, all of those things that dwell in despair came to her. And she said that the moment that she decided that she wanted to change, it started to change. So she got to that level of content where she had to make a choice. And she made the choice, I'm not going to do that to my kids. And so she moved forward. Man, when I tell y'all that, it inspired me when I heard her say that. Because <clears throat> here lately, I've been in a level of not really sadness, but stress. And there are some aspects in my life that's going pretty good. And then there are some aspects that's not going all that good no more. So, like, like you know, the car situation, I'm still dealing with that. Um, and then my job is a little far out. Like, I'm my luckily for me, I deal with a privately owned company and I work with the owners right there on hand. And one thing about Southern people is that as long as we don't talk about certain things, they'll be nice to you. So, my co workers are taking me to and from work because they saw my tires. And I'm very thankful for that because just when I thought all oh, opportunities were lost for me, I'm going to have to call out three four days in a row i'm not gonna be able to do it 
No, I told them I want to work. I told them I'll do the job. They said, okay. All right. We'll let you work. So, I'm working. <laughs> I'm excited. So, to be honest, I'm probably going to drive around this site because, baby, that walk, man, that walk. That walk of that video, y'all, it seemed like it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's totally not. And I'm there until 3 a.m. Like, sheesh. <laughs> but all in all, listen, that's something that I want. That's something that I wanted. I wanted to work there. Not even since now that I got the job. About like a year ago, before I had my daughter, I was going to leave my other job and I wanted to work at the security place. And now I have an opportunity to get another skill under my belt, my another skill under my belt. That's the reason why I wanted to work for a security place, because now me wanting to do um, event planning and stuff like that with me having the security people, these people are armed security officers. So now I have close contact with the security team. And if I wanted to hire them, they probably might cut me a deal because I'm an employee as well. So I love it. All, all these different doors is opening for me. I'm learning more about different stuff. I'm learning more about different people. I'm surrounded by people who I'm nothing like again. And now I get to, now I have a different mindset for I want to do YouTube. I want to bring those people in too, you know? So I'm trying to figure out what appeals to them too. As long as you got your, what you want, your intentions, you know what you want, everything that you want is going to come to you. That's why I say it comes, it follows hand in hand with the, it follows hand in hand with the law of attraction. So <clears throat> just stay true to yourself, guys, and don't let nobody tell you who you are. You stay true to who you are. That means if you want to be a stripper, then sister girl, you got to practice pole dancing seriously and it's not even about a fat or skinny thing because i've seen big girls climb the pole you have to practice your upper body strength and pole dancing and being able to you know look in someone's eyes without feeling the anxiety of are they judging me and just feel in that moment sexy because you know that they desire you that's a mindset and if you want to conquer that you can i'm here to tell you that you can so all right guys Thank you for watching this Spirit Talk. This message today was anything you want, you can have. I'm here to tell you that anything you want, you can have. How am I relating that in my life? Everything that I do. Since I've accepted this as my truth, everything that I do, I realize that it is on my path. And that I would not want it if it wasn't on my path. That's number one. Number two, how do I relate that to my YouTube? I want to do YouTube. So I have to get up. And I have to do YouTube because I want to do YouTube. I enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy actually being able to think of my future and knowing that talking, one thing that I'm really good at is rambling, talking, talking, talking. I can get paid for people listening to me talk. Okay. <laughs> Even some of my friends call me when they're having an anxiety attack or when they're having a panic attack and they just want something to take their mind off of it. They call me because I could talk. So I want a job or a career. I want a career that's going to benefit my personality and things that I like. And why not do YouTube where I could do everything that I like, everything that I love, and everything that I already do and just do it with y'all and show y'all, talk about it with y'all, tell y'all what I'm doing. Y'all listen to me. You know, I control the complete narrative of the whole channel and everything. So. You got all these opportunities to you guys. Don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't have what you want. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do what you want. You can uh, conquer a lot of stuff. You can overcome a lot of stuff. No one's in your way but you. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel, please. Um, like, share, and comment down below, guys. Share with me what's, um, what's two goals for 2022. I know last video, one of my videos, I said share with me one of your goals. But now share with me two more goals that we're going to accomplish. Last time I said I want to get 100 subscribers by July. 
and right now I'm in the middle of June and I have 20 almost 20 subscribers so it's a slow incline but it's a steady incline so I think after the promotion of me building up my channel and I promote my channel then I'll be able to see the numbers that I want um, other than that one of my goals is more discipline uh, the second goal I'm, I'm doing my third goal because I want two more goals um, more discipline I want to be more disciplined guys these videos look like they're kind of jumbled up with each other um, on the same day because I actually am behind I'm behind so I'm caught up I need to catch up today so that way on the 12 I can just part produce the three videos and won't be behind and then finally <clears throat> um, I'm gonna try my hardest to financially be able to budget so I can sustain some of the projects that I have committed myself to so I can legitimize my company so my other goal my third goal my final goal is legitimizing my company so guys I said in the first video I want one goal for 2022 now this video in the comment section down below give me two goals for 2022 I'll see you guys later thank you don't forget to subscribe